Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be taking a quick view on what's inside a box of a Athena Get SX-1 by Takamoto. So let's jump right into it. Within the box, we first see the quick startup guide. This is very important. Everybody should read this. It also has a QR code that shows you where to watch the installation video. It also tells you what every single accessory does and if it's needed. Uh, it also tells you how to reset your TPS and what fuel you should be running. All right, next up is the GET ECU itself. This is the green unit. This is an SX-1 Pro, but green, as it is a special edition by Takamoto. The next unit is the Wi-Fi com. Right here. And all the information on the Wi-Fi com is right here on the back. It tells you the name of your Wi-Fi com and then also the password to the Wi-Fi com. The next item will be the, let's move that out of the way. This is the reset TPS cable. It is your black and red cable. This is only used to energize your unit to reset your TPS cable. It, it is not supposed to be plugged in all the time. All right, the next thing that comes in it is your Y cable. This attaches to your ECU, and this these two ports attach to accessories like your LED map switch or your Wi-Fi com. There you go. The next item within the box is your T-CAN connector. This small dongle is used to cap off unused uh, unused ports in your white cable. This is used to suppress noise and allows better data collection. And the last item within the box, well two items, is the toggle map switch. Because I opted for a toggle map switch. So you will have the toggle map switch itself, map one is up, map two is down, and this is the map, map switch extender. So this component right here will plug into your get ECU. You will run this underneath your tank, and you'll use these bullet connectors to attach the toggle map switch. There you go. And then let's go ahead and view how we would install the Y cable with the T-CAN. So you will use the main port right here, as you can see right there. We're gonna take off this cap, and then we are going to plug in the Y cable, which has ECU right on there. And you can't really get these connectors mixed up as there's only one connector that you can connect into, as this is for your map switch, and this is for your secondary injector. So, here you go. Hope you enjoy.